I've just been checking all my bits. <laughs> and I'll tell you why. I am now 51 today. Now, thanks for the, that, everyone. <laughs> Too late. Uh, here's the thing, though. I'm now north of 50. This is, this is it. This is the, this is the, you know, this is the stretch. This is the home stretch. Yeah, you've gone past the barrier now, man. Yeah, no. I, now I'm, I'm officially in the AARP. I want teenagers off my lawn. Every time I go to the doctor, they're putting more and more things in my ass. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, really? You go to, I go to, when I went to the doctor when I was 30, he was like, how'd you feel? I'm like, awesome. He's like, out you go. No, I go, it's like, well, we'll be putting this in, and we got another one over here, here's the camera, you've met the Teamsters, they're coming. Uh, <laughs> my ass is catnip for doctors. Can I, can I get your doctor's number, please? No. <laughs> Too late for you. Anyway, 50, 51 is what I'm saying, 51. So now, now what? More of this. <laughs> That's not cheering me up. No, you, you look great, man. You look svelte. It's not how you look. It's how you feel inside. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. It's how you look. Uh, no, I, I don't feel any different. I mean, I, I can see I look different. I look in the mirror. I'm like, what, what the hell? Well, what's changed since 50? Well, my testicles are even lower. Yeah, yeah. Now I have to be careful when I'm putting on my shoes. <laughs> One wrong move and I'm limping all day. <laughs> well, you gotta, you gotta stop standing by the fireplace so much, man. I can't help it. I love that warm feeling <laughs> of the flames licking. <laughs> Have I gone too far? <laughs> Here's the thing as well. I do. One of the great advantages you'll, uh, you'll get this when you're older, young people. One of the great advantages, or maybe you won't, but what I think one of the great advantages of getting older is you really really start to not give a rat's ass. <laughs> like, really? Am I right, older people? And it's like, you know, it's true. I, 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 like, when I was a kid, I was like, I don't care about what you think, man. But I did. I really cared about what you thought. But now I really don't care what you think. <laughs> and people are like, Craig, you can't do that. I'm like, who says, you jerk? <laughs> it's awesome. I 51 is the new punk rock. <laughs> That's fine. That's great. Just what I wanted for my birthday. A great audience. Yeah. It's a great day for America, everybody. It's a Friday. Not only my birthday, it's Friday. I am very excited. It's Friday, then there's very big news on TV. Fox is bringing back 24. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's great. Kiefer Sutherland is still in it. He's getting older, though. That's what I'm worried about. This time, he'll be racing against the clock to finish a bowl of soup. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's 
a jo- it's a joke. He's awesome, Kiefer. Yeah, yeah. He's, uh, he's, he still looks great. Do we have a picture of Kiefer Sutherland? There he is. Uh, <laughs> Looks great. <laughs> yeah. he looks a bit like his dad. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. yeah, it's uh, a great day for me, of course. It's my birthday. It's also Enya's birthday. You know, the. Orinoco flow. Enya and I, very different, of course. Uh, one of us is a new age woman who used to twirl around in gorgeous gowns at Lilith Fair. And the other one's Enya. So, right there. See? It's also my friend Bob Saget's birthday. Bob and I have the same birthday, so I do the same thing every year. I go round to his house, kick him in the nuts. It's hilarious. <laughs> One year I got mixed up and I did that to Enya. She beat the crap out of me. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I would like for my birthday? My own birthday graphic. Have we got a birthday graphic for me? Thanks. <laughs> you know what else is good, which really I'm really excited about? What's that? The new Star Trek movie is out today. I'm very excited. You got a picture of the poster? Uh, the look, with the po- yeah, look at that. Yeah. That's it. Uh, yeah. Now, that's uh, the mysterious villain. That's him in the poster. And they're keeping his identity a secret, but I know who it is. So turn down the volume if you don't want to know who it is. It's Voldemort. Voldemort. <laughs> You could probably keep the volume down. This crap doesn't get any better, right? <laughs> now, <laughs> the villain is played by the English actor Benedict Cumberbatch. Yes! I like him. I like him because he's got the most English-sounding name I've ever heard in my life. Yeah. Well, why, if it isn't Benedict Cumberbatch? <laughs> you, could you come up with a more English-sounding name than Benedict Cumberbatch? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Braxton Hornswallow. <laughs> All right, then, what about uh, Merlin Crossing Whistle? Oh, I like that, I like that. Uh, Alistair Popple Nipple. <laughs> Rupert Thistlegoggin. Nigel Buttminster. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's one of the, uh, one of the Dorset Buttminsters, yes, isn't he? Yes, true, yes. Yes, I do like a Buttminster in Dorset. Oh, yes. Who doesn't? Who doesn't? Well, I'll, I'll tell you who doesn't, Al-Qaeda. <laughs> Do you know why? Why is that? Because they're beastly. <laughs> beastly, you say? Beastly. Yes. I'm also doing a very English thing with my leg. Can you see? <laughs> well, I'll show you. Look, I'm doing this. <laughs> is that terrible? Uh, like, people probably think, is that Benedict Cumberbatch? Oh, no, it's just, just someone doing an English thing with his leg. I'm very excited to see the new Star Trek. I, I, all the old favorites are back. Kirk, Spock, Bones, Scotty, Blinky, Pee Wee, Boner, Tito, Regis. They're all there. <laughs> Boner? <laughs> <laughs> and once again, they're boldly going where no man has gone before. That is the iconic line from the original Star Trek. But when Star Trek The Next Generation came out, they changed it to where no one has gone before because everyone has to be PC now. I hate that. If Neil Armstrong landed on the moon today, some publicist would be like, don't say it's a small step for a man. Say it's a small step for a man or a woman. <laughs> I like all the Star Treks. I like the last movie, the old movies, the original series, the next generation, the porn version. There is, there's a porn version. There is, there's a porn version of Star Trek. It's called Sex Trek. It's, it really is. It's called, I, I believe it's called that. It's, uh, it is. It's called Sex Trek, the next penetration. It is. It really is. It really is. I'm not making that up. We got a picture from it. This, this has got a still from it. That's right there. This is, that's a scene where Spock sends a probe out to Uranus. And the, uh, that's the only bit we can show you. I'll tell you this, though. It's not just his ears that were pointy. What do you mean, Craig? Uh, what else could be pointy? His penis. He's got a pointy penis. He's got, he's got a pointy penis. Pointy penis. Wouldn't it be awful if you went to Disneyland and Mickey was saying that? <laughs> Hello, everyone. Pointy penis. Oh, hey, kids, I got a 
have a pointed penis. <laughs> 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 Yeah. You naughty robot. Yeah. I have to say, uh, my favourite character is, of course, Captain Kirk. He's a role model for all action heroes. He's cocky, refuses to play by the rules. But in real life, you don't want a captain who can't play by the rules. You, know, you don't want to be on a flight and hear the captain of a plane saying, This is your captain speaking. <laughs> the tower says it's not safe to land, but I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> you, you do a good one. I've got a pointy penis. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Now, Chris Pine plays the new Captain Kirk in the new movie, or well, the same Captain Kirk, he plays Captain Kirk, is what I'm saying. And some people say that William Shatner will always be the only true Captain Kirk, and these people are called William Shatner. Uh, it's a joke, it's a joke, Shatner, of course, a god, and here this evening... Yeah. That'll be good, because you know, in the, in the new movie, uh, Kirk has to resign, he's forced to give up the captain's chair, he has to watch someone else sit in the chair that he feels rightly belongs to him. It's basically Jay Leno in space, I think yeah. that's what yeah. the yeah. storyline. <laughs> there you go, I got my joke in, that's what I really wanted to do, yeah. yeah. I'm done now. Funny stuff, man. Was it? What part? The last part with the Leno bit. Was... So all the bit in between wasn't? No, it's great. I loved it all, man. <laughs> You're patronizing me, no, you man, pony your... jerk. Yes, you are. No, man, it's your yes, birthday. Yes, you are. No, happy birthday. You, you know, no happy birthday to you. That doesn't even make sense. Well, my birthday was last month. Thanks for remembering. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> He's not a real thing. <laughs> I filled you with my awesome acting. <laughs> Let's do it again. Oh, I'm so sorry, Jack. Really good. Yeah. Wow. Where's my Oscar? Where's my Oscar? <laughs> I don't even have to be talking about anything. I never knew I was this awesome an actor. Very good. <laughs> uh, you don't know what that emotion is, do you? And neither do I. <laughs> I. This is, you know what that is? I've just seen a pointy penis. <laughs> we'll take a break, we'll be right back, everybody, right back. applause, the audience have gone crazy. <laughs> you know, it's not only my birthday today, it's also Norwegian, Norwegian Day. Norwegian, no, it's, Norwegian uh, Nor day. it's like 4th of July for Norwegians. Uh, this is their big day. It's Norway Day. Norway, when they celebrate everything Norwegian. <laughs> oh, well, a uh, happy hundy, hundy, hundy uh, to hundy you. Hundy, everybody. That's Swedish, I think. Hundy, it's, hundy. Hundy. It's yeah, Norway's a little more. <laughs> I think that sounds a little more... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That sounds a little further east than yeah. Norway, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I, I'm going to call your doctor. <laughs> <laughs> you should call him, because I think he may have left a cell phone up there. Yeah. Hello? Hello? Can we go? I think it's on vibrate. <laughs> <laughs> Have I gone too far? Check, check with the sensor, would you? Have I gone too far? <laughs> no! Uh, all right, what time is it, Jeffrey Pierce? It's tweet mail for, time. Except for Norwegian Day and my birthday. Right. It's also tweet mail time brought to you by Prune Juice. Have a sip and loosen up, target demographic. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? CBS is a target demographic. I don't have a target demographic. I don't give a rat's ass about their target demographic. You want to watch the show? Fine. You don't? Oh, no. That's the kind of sad music you like when you get older. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Out around the campfire with Craig and his friend. Come down and sit a spell at the old campfire here. I'll tell you stories of when I was a boy growing up in Scotchland. 
Why, when I was a little boy there, I had my own pet monkey. <laughs> Folks around my place thought I was Justin Bieber. <laughs> then I went on tour to Germany, and the German authorities took my monkey away. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this, Jeff. Germans confiscated his monkey. If you've ever had your monkey confiscated, you, you'll know just how painful that can be. So go to your doctor regularly and have, have your monkey checked. <laughs> all right, all right. Help. No, he's trying to help, man. All right. No. This is from Paul in Interlaken in Florida. You ever been there? In, inter, interlaken. Interlaken, yeah. I think it's interlaken, but I'm originally from Scotland. Yeah. Yeah, so... No, I like that. Interlaken. <laughs> it's my birthday, yeah, man! Yeah, man, I thought that's what it was called. I was just making sure. All right, Paul says, I think my mother is a cougar. Do you know any available 88-year-old man? <laughs> no. Do you? No, no. Any, any, anybody in the audience, maybe? I don't know. 88? Yeah, that's a little young for this crowd. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is from BJ in Auburn in Alabama. That's a hell of a set of initials you got yeah. for yourself there, isn't it? Mm. Oh, that's, that's the initials from BJ. Hmm. Down there in Alabama, BJ. All the way down in Alabama. Yep. Oh, BJ. In the south. <laughs> Where else is BJ going to be but down there? Am <laughs> I going too far? <laughs> hey, Craig, Jeff, and Secretary, I just wanted to see if you would give Auburn, Alabama a shout. Uh, hey, what up? Uh, <laughs> I did live long and Yeah, that was, yeah, that was yeah. great. That's yeah. right. It's the Star Trek gang sign. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Mm. That's right. Mm -mm 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 -mm. We're from another planet. Uh, <laughs> the hell, man? I don't know. Everybody wants to see a 51-year-old white guy rapping. <laughs> oh, wait, no. The opposite of that is true. Hey, it's your birthday. Okay. <laughs> man. <laughs> this is from Miyu in Osaka in Japan. Oh, ooh. Don't ooh! The what do you, hell, what do we say? How would you, how would you say you hello? Say, uh, it's hi, isn't it? No, ohayo gozaimasu. Hi. Domi arigato. Mr. Robot? Roboto, yeah. Thank you. Dear uh, Craig and Jeff, can you say hey to all your Japanese fans? Jeff, you first. Hey, guys. <laughs> Jeff, uh, what's the horse's name? Sec That's the yeah, secretary, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can't bend my neck. Guys. Jeff is disrespecting you, my Japanese friends. <laughs> this is from Cynthia and in Des Moines, and, uh, Des Moines, Iowa. He says, hello, Craig and Jeff. I have a recurring vision of Secretariat roaming free around your stage. Can you make a, a girl's dream come true? I can, but nothing to do with a horse. <laughs> See you in hell, amigos. And finally, this is from Johnny in, <laughs> in Austin, Texas, and he said, uh, Hey, Craig, I saw you do stand-up in Austin one night, then I saw you on TV an hour later. Are you sure your show is live? <laughs> you wise-ass punk. Yeah, it, we're, we're live-ish. live, live -ish. We're as live as anyone else in late night, right? Yeah, yeah. Does anyone yeah. do it? Does anyone do a live show like live, live? I think Not, Russell Brand did I, a live, live show. Didn't uh, Kimmel do one for like a minute? <laughs> yeah, no, I don't watch late night TV. Do you watch late night TV? No, it's terrible. Yeah. <laughs> Bunch of middle-aged white guys whining. Young people is how you make a paper airplane when you're 51. <laughs> we'll be right back.
first guest tonight is an icon. You perhaps know him as Star Trek's original Captain Kirk. His new show, Weird or What? Airs <laughs> on the sci-fi. It's William Shatner, everybody. to you well, about a few things. Okay, go First ahead. of all, it's your birthday, right? It is my birthday. Right. Thank you for being here, Bill. Uh, you're uh, my favorite ever. All right, so you're, you're 51. I am. That's yeah. child's play. Stop whining. <laughs> I have to whine. It's my job. I'm a middle-aged white guy. I sit behind the desk. I'm like, I'm, I'm telling you, yeah. you're a child. <laughs> You've got your life in front of you. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, how you, old are you, then? Uh, ah. Second thing. All right. I'm tired of blue suits and red ties. This is the way you got to dress. Yeah, I tell you, a you look color. hot. Yeah, I mean, you look like you have your own hair salon in Miami. <laughs> <laughs> and the third thing I want to talk to you about is castration. <laughs> Pointed penis. A castration? Yes, castration. Well, uh, well, uh, here's the thing. Or not, as the case may be. <laughs> well, there is a migration from is and isn't. For example, my dog gets sick some years ago, right. and the only cure is to do a, a, a procedure which involves castration. Ah, it's terrible so sense. we castrate him, we remove the, 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 the ball, the, the, the family jewels, and my wife says, we've got to freeze that semen in case we want to breed our dog at a later date. So I run with this family jewels in a box on ice <laughs> to the place and I run down this long hallway, and there's a secretary there. She says, yes, and I say, I've got the balls. <laughs> and she says, you certainly have. <laughs> and we freeze the semen. Now, five years goes by, and Starbuck, the dog, the, the, the dog that was castrated, is getting old. And it's time to breed a female with that semen. Mm -hmm. We find the bitch in... I knew you would react yeah, that way. Well, I, I mean, mean, what really, else are you going to yeah, say? Yeah. The female dog in Austin, Texas, just outside of Austin, Texas. Right. So we, we, we get the semen, and the semen, the veterinarian, uh, uh, fertilizes the egg. Whoa, whoa. whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the veterinarian? The veterinarian takes the, the little, yeah, the pipit yeah, yeah, and yeah. the thing, and, yeah. the, and 11 weeks later, we've got a litter. Eight weeks after that, last week, yeah. We fly to Austin, Texas to pick up two little girl puppies of Starbucks. Uh, uh, Nine weeks old. Yeah, that's great, but what the hell's the point of all of this? Uh, <laughs> I've been writing a, a new album called oh, great. Under the Mystery. When's it out? Uh, it's out <laughs> at the end of the summer, okay? Whoa! And, and Billy Sherwood... Uh, Billy Sherwood of Yes is writing the music, so Billy Sherwood and I are writing a, a, a great album, okay? How'd so you know it's what, great? You haven't written it yet. No, but... I'm writing it. Well, uh, oh, it's going to be great, yeah. <laughs> or the reading is, I'm writing it. So, yeah. it's, um, so I've written a song great. for Starbuck. Okay. The last phrase of which is, and now he's old and stiff and sore and getting ready to die. And as I look at him with love, I realize, so am I. And that's the last lyric of a loving song to this great dog, Starbuck, who has now got that's, that's two beautiful. young puppies that's of it. That's a beautiful thing. Uh, isn't that a thing? Yeah, that's a very... Uh, so that's the point uh, of that story. Oh, you brought me down a little there, but... <laughs> Like, yeah, I was all like, oh, but... Well, you're only 51. You have time to regenerate. Are you saying I should freeze my sparrow? <laughs> if you haven't done so already, you're in trouble. No, no, I got, I got two kids. I don't want any more kids. Uh, then, even don't, I'm, then, I'm, then take a piece of advice from me. Don't freeze your sperm. <laughs> Sometimes it gets cold just on its own. But not freezing. And cold is good, because I've heard you say that as you get older, things grow longer. Absolutely. Cold really sucks it up. So, so rather than Botox here, use cold. Do you know people do that, Botox? They Botox their junk? Come on. I'm telling what you. Are the, you can't feel it. <laughs> Maybe it's a, a, you know, it's a kind of like, yeah, you know. Botox, so I can't feel things. Help me. No, 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 no. 
No, no, you've got to add heat. To, you, to what, your Botox? Well, no, without your, blood. Your junk? Heat to the junk and get the blood flowing. The blood has to are you, flow. Are you a doctor, Bill? Are you, are you, are you a secret? No, like a secret? I, I'm not a doctor, but I'm an authority on junk. We have to, we have to uh, take a commercial break. Well, we, At this juncture? Well... <laughs> I see what you did. I see. We'll be right back. William Sutton. That's James D. Kirk. To uh, kangaroo up. Uh, yeah. Welcome back, everybody. I'm here with William Shatner. We were talking about we were talking about Australia during the break. Oh yeah. Because yeah. 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 you've just been there. And well, I, been. I was there uh, 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 doing a show, and and I we we did Perth and we did Adelaide, and and long between, way, long way. It's longer than San Francisco to New York. Right. And have you driven across this country? And, and, what, what this country? Yeah, this country. Yeah, this country. Several yeah. times. Yeah. Yeah. So have I. So I was thinking that the drive from Perth to Adelaide would be sensational. I mean, there's all there's desert. No, nothing out no. there. Right? There's nothing there, but there is. There are niches of life in the desert. Kangaroos and killer spiders, basically. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that be becomes a search for the, the, the best of the kangaroos, the best of the killer spiders. Yeah. I mean, you, you could be looking for anything. You could be looking for treasure. You could be looking for rock and gold and, 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 and an Australian. Did you do a lot of peyote when you were out there in Australia? <laughs> no, but, uh, but dingoes. Yeah, yeah, Dingo's... What a strange name. It's just a dog, man. No, it's just no, a dog. but Dingo, it sounds like Django. <laughs> yeah, it also sounds like Bingo. I don't get your point. It's like, you, hey, you hey, hey bing, Bingo, well, I found a dog. Where did Dingo come from? Why would they name an animal Dingo? It, 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 it's not respectful. <laughs> well, yeah, you know... I mean, the word lion yeah. and the word elephant carries weight. Yeah. But elephants don't call themselves elephants. They're not like, uh, hi, I'm an elephant. No, they don't use... You don't know that. Not for sure I don't know it. No, you don't uh, know the guy a... says, mm, are you an elephant? William Shatner, that's amazing. Are you an elephant? Oh, I didn't know you could do an elephant. Are you an elephant? Like that guy. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're having a good time. Uh, Hey, have you seen the new Star Trek movie? No, yet? I haven't seen the new Star Trek movie, but I want to. It's supposed to be wonderful. Yeah, I like yeah. the last one. Oh, I'm, I'm glad forward. you did. Yeah, no, I did, I, I did like it, yeah. You did like it? Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah it was, was wonderful. Yeah. And this is supposed to be even better, as everybody... I've never had a problem with any of the Star Treks from the very beginning. I've liked everything, even the porn one, I told you. I like I, All of it. I think all of it is fine. I've never seen the porn one. You do pretty well in it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Do 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 I have a pointed penis in there? No, but you have a point to your penis. <laughs> and no Botox. I think you're Captain James T. Hi, caramba. The one, the one that's a bit like chicken. James T. Chicken, man, chicken. You know what the word obtuse means? I. Um... No, it's kind of vague. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> uh, we're out of time, Bill. We're what, out of time? Yeah, we're out I of time. I thought I was here for the... What happened? Oh, you can stay, I guess, but, you know, there's another guest. There is? Yeah. Is he going to sit here? It's a she, very attractive lady. Oh, really? Well, I'm get up then. You my know, no, you want to hang out? Yeah, if she were sitting in my lap, that wouldn't... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lovely girl. She's on Game of Thrones. Do you oh, enjoy really? the Game of Thrones? Game of Thrones. I love Game of Thrones. Wow, that's, I tell you, that's a show. I've yeah. never seen it, but... <laughs> Nor have I, but people I... People are you know, crazy yeah, for that show. Wow, they are. They, they're and they're neither nuts. one of us has seen it. Well, you know. Well, you I'm know, 51, you're 53. It's yeah. one of those things. A little older than you. Well, I, I just urge you to use heat and not Botox on the junk. I'm using nothing on my junk. It's fine. I, I make up all these stories that my testicles was getting further away. They're not. They're exactly where they always were, right there in my pants. You're making up stories? There's no, there's no truth in advertising, then, I take it. No. This is all like make-believe. Yes. Well, I'm with you. None and I'm with you. None of this happened at all.
My next guest is a very beautiful and talented actress. She stars in Game of Thrones, Sunday nights on HBO. Take a look at this. Natalie Dormer, everybody, Natalie Dormer. How lovely to see you. Welcome to America. Have you been here before? Many a time. Oh, have you really? Happy birthday. Thanks very much indeed. Happy and birthday. Many happy returns. I'm all... Uh, next year's I'm 40. <laughs> 51? What the... How the hell does that happen? You get to go back now. You get to, keep, yeah, you, you, get to you, lie you, about your age. Yeah, and also you, you become non-threatening to attractive women because you're so old, so you can really hit on them and nothing happens. No, I've always liked older men. Yeah, you go. That's a girl. Hey, uh, I was uh, in love with you since you were Anne Boleyn in the Tudors. That was fantastic. Thank you. Oh, it's just great. You were really good. Did you do a lot of, did you look into her life? Did you do a lot of studying about what Yeah, you... I was really geeky about it. I read every single book that was going. She was quite the broad, actually, wasn't she? I yeah. mean, she's like a card player and a, yeah. like, a, yeah. Very savvy card yeah. player. Yeah, she was good. She was a good dancer, a bit like you, just there. Thanks. Very good. A lot of people have said I dance like Anne Boleyn. <laughs> it's the skirts, you know. Have you ever seen me wearing a skirt? I'd like to. Thank you. I am a Scot. We, we call you it a kilt, though. You Have you ever been up to Scotland? I've been to Scotland many times. Really? Edinburgh Festival, I'll bet. Indeed. Really? Yeah. Did Prince you go Festival. with school plays and stuff like that? Yeah, with, like, drama school, yeah, when I was training. What drama school did you go to? Oh, it doesn't exist anymore, the drama school I went to. What was it called? It was called Weber Douglas. When it I remember Weber Douglas. They yeah. rejected my application when I was young. Okay. And now they've closed down, and I'm not an actor. <laughs> You yeah, the right. Weber Douglas Academy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Douglas Academy. Yeah, is it, is it closed down? Yeah. That's terribly I think sad. I think the principal, the guy who ran it, ran it, um, it was sitting on rather a lot of good real estate in South Kensington in London, so... Just sold it. Cashed in. Yeah, good for him, I say. Yeah. <laughs> Hanging about with actors all day is a terrible job. Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> Especially actors who are getting started. Depressing. You spend more time in the pub. You help yourself to that leg, I young lady. It's fine, yeah. Um... <laughs> We spend, um... Oh. <laughs> that Craig leg's Ferguson. been around the world, you know. <laughs> Craig Ferguson just made me blush. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you say. So, uh, you went to Edinburgh. What, what play did you do then when you went to Edinburgh? Oh, no. I, do you know, I, I saw a lot of uh, stand-up comedy at the Edinburgh There's Festival. tons of it. That's where yeah. I started. I don't Sorry. Know. That's yeah, why yeah. I was mentioning it. Like, I saw a lot of really good stand-up comedy. You and also I was there. Yeah. <laughs> Who did you see? Anyone I would know? Oh, well, I saw, like, uh, oh, God, lots of British when they were start just starting out. Like, not, the references wouldn't really make sense. Oh, really. don't worry about them. I'm asking you. Well, like the Peep Show boys and everything. Yeah, the Peep Show's yeah. a great show. I love those yeah, guys. I saw them when they first started out. And, yeah. You know, no Fielding. And, like, I saw a lot... Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Keep it down, Doctor Who. <laughs> Sorry, we got Gryffindor in the house. Oh, and the, there you go. The, uh, the Game of Thrones is huge as well. I mean, yeah. it's the greatest show I've never yet seen. But I, <laughs> but I have all of them. And David Benioff, uh, one of the creators of the show, has been here. And no, he's here next week, isn't he? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> but he's been here before many times. He's a great guy. He's, he's very They're, handsome, isn't he's he? He's very stupidly handsome It's ridiculous. Writer. Like, yeah. he's a writer and he's all handsome. I, know, I was like, I know. what the hell, man? Why, can't he be fat with glasses? Isn't that what writers are meant to look like? He's like, hey, how are you doing? <laughs> Chisel yeah, with his jawline. I know. Jerk. Damn it. Yeah. He'll be 51 one day too. <laughs> yeah, but it, but it won't be for a while. <laughs> so, uh, what are you doing while you're here then? I've just been shooting Elementary with uh, Johnny Lee Miller and Lucy Liu. That Lucy Liu's good news. I saw her down at the Super Bowl, you know. Oh, did you? She can do Kung Fu. She's a bit dangerous with a blade. Yeah, she is. <laughs> It's a nice little daydream for you, though. Yeah. That's what happens when you get to 51. You just kind of drift off. In the middle of conversations, you're like... Hey. 
remember things. Uh, you know what else I do? Like, I've noticed, like, this will happen to you when you get old. When you drive around on your own, you say out loud the names of stores that you drive by. <laughs> You're like, Walgreens? <laughs> Say it out loud. I don't know what it is. It's kind of. Have you done that thing yet where you start to sigh when you stand up and you sit down? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, do that. Do that again. Get up like that again. No, do it. Do it again. Do the thing. Are you going to make the noise? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it. Okay, right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That happens as you get older too. Yeah, it does. Apparently, I haven't reached that point yet, but. Do you know what I did? Do? I was next. I was at a traffic light the other day, right? And I found myself at the traffic light going like this, <laughs> like sucking my teeth. <laughs> I used to suck other people's teeth. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to worry about that. Were you twelve? Mm. And a half. Yeah. All right. Weber Douglas, though. What a yeah, great school. Weber Douglas. I'm very happy for you. Your career's going very well. I hope you don't turn into one of those jerks. <laughs> but you and I need to stay friends, and then that won't happen. Okay. Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> oh, no I, I think I right. am one of those jerks. Oh, uh, right. okay. No, I'm yeah. all right. I'm all right. I'm all yeah? right. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm getting. I'm, I got past it. We keep me grounded. If yeah, you people. It. It's very important in Britain. They always like people to be grounded. Oh no, you can't. Yeah, can't get too. Above Don't your get above your shit. What? No. What? Who do you think you are? <laughs> think because you play someone posh, you're posh. You're not posh. <laughs> Are you posh? Are you a poshy? No, I get to play royalty all the time and I'm not posh at all. Not poshy? No, I'm not poshy. You look a bit poshy though because you get the lovely cheekbones. Well, I've got, this is Norwegian. So <gasps> Happy Norwegian yeah. Day! Yes! Well, oh, well done. Allow me, uh, allow me to give you the traditional sugar cube uh, that the <laughs> Norwegians celebrate with. Yeah, yeah, really? What am I going to do? I say that, that's what... That's yeah, chop later. it into a line and snort it. You'll be fine. It's, <laughs> Did you eat that? <laughs> don't, don't eat that. Oh, you put it down there? Oh, I'll take it back then. <laughs> I'll, give it, I'll give it to Secretariat later. Yeah, you can you, we've got shit. the same colour lipstick on. <laughs> yeah, he's, yeah. Go, he's going through his uh, David Bowie 1976 period. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, we're out of time. Have you ever thrown to a commercial break? No, go ahead. No, you, you do it. Help yourself. Oh, now we're going to a commercial break. Yeah. What did we learn on the show tonight, Chris? See you in hell, amigos. My catchphrase is really is really catching yeah, up, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. People are really enjoying it. I'm reading about Larry. Yeah, anything uh, exciting? No. Yeah, actually, yes. Apparently, life goes on after 51 for a very long time. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't freeze your sperm. Too late. <laughs> See you in hell, amigos!